are many applications for the transformative powers of microorganisms, from creating delicious foods and drinks to land and water reclamation, energy production and agriculture. Today we're going to look at a method of composting known as pakashi, which uses microorganisms to ferment all your kitchen waste, vegetables, dairy, meat, fish, raw or cooked, can all be used to make compost in the kitchen. The Pakashi method is a technique developed from much earlier practices in the 1980s by Teru Higa, a professor of horticulture in Okinawa, Japan. It is now used all over the world. The Pakashi technique is an anaerobic form of fermentation using food scraps and making use of effective microorganisms. EM, or effective microorganisms, are a mixed culture of beneficial natural organisms. There are three major groups of microbes in EM. Lactic acid, bacteria, same as those commonly used in food. Yeast, desirable ones like those used to make wine and beer. And phototrophic bacteria, commonly purple non-sulfur bacteria, similar to blue-green algae. EM are infused into organic matter like rice, wheat or oat bran to make bakashi bran, left to multiply and then dried. The bran is layered into the bakashi bucket with food scraps. Inert until moistened, the microbes come alive in the bucket and work their transformative magic. The kit you need to make pakashi compost is super simple. You need a pakashi bucket, pakashi bran and some food scraps. You can get pakashi buckets of different sizes. Inside this pakashi bucket is a tray that allows the liquid to drain through and at the front is a tap so you can drain off the liquid. It has a lid that securely fastens and it's a good idea to have two buckets so one can be fermenting whilst the other one is filled up with food scraps. You can buy Bokashi bran ready-made or you can make it yourself and I will show you how to do that a bit later. The beauty of the Bokashi bucket system is it's anaerobic and you can ferment meat, dairy and fish which is not the case of the garden compost, which is aerobic. So here's how you assemble a bakashi compost. First, you need to sprinkle a small amount of the bakashi bran over the bottom of the bucket, just to cover the filter. Then tip in your kitchen scraps and cover with another layer of the bakashi. It's quite a lot of scraps, so we'll put two handfuls of the bakashi bran. Then you need to press down to take away all of the air. And I use a plate. So just push down and then pop on the lid and secure. Pop the bucket on the side in the kitchen. As this is an anaerobic process, do not be tempted to open the bucket every time you have scraps. Just do it once a day so you do not introduce too much air into the bucket. Every other day, drain off through the tap excess liquid, which you can use diluted 100 to 1 to water plants. Once the bucket is full, leave to pickle undisturbed for about two weeks. At the end of two weeks, the mixture will look pretty much the same. It's fine if a white mould appears. The bacteria will have been at work and it will all be pickled with a slight whiff of fermentation. If you have a garden, you can dig a trench and bury it, but leave for two weeks before you decide to plant anything. Layer the bakashi into a container that you're going to use to grow vegetables. Add a third soil, then a third bakashi, and finally a third soil. Again, you will need to leave for two weeks before planting 
as initially the bokashi will be too acidic for plants. You can add your bokashi compost to a wormery or a garden compost heap where it will break down quickly and add beneficial microorganisms to your compost. If none of these options are open to you, why not add your bokashi to a communal compost or community garden? To start with, you will need a base substrate. This can be any organic material. Here I'm using wheat bran, but you could use oat bran, rye bran, rice bran, newspaper, and I've been very successful with sawdust. You will need chlorine-free water. If your water has a lot of chlorine in it, fill a bowl and leave it to stand overnight and the chlorine will evaporate off because it's important not to use water with chlorine in it. You will also need molasses, which you can buy online or from a health food store. And finally, you'll need effective microorganisms known as EM1, which you can make, but quite frankly, it's a lot easier to buy. It's hard to make a smaller quantity than a kilo. Five kilos of Prakashi bran will last a family of four, four to six months. Place your substrate in a bowl. I'm using wheat bran. Dissolve the molasses in a little warm water. Just stir it around so it's well mixed. Then add your EM1. And then add the remaining water. Mix the EM mixture into the bran. Pour in half to start with. Mix it in really well, making sure you don't have any dry spots. The absorption rate of the bran can vary depending how old it is. So that's why it's good to add a bit at a time. So the consistency that you're looking for is when you hold it up and squeeze it tight, you don't want any liquid to be coming out of it. Then it's too wet and you'd have to add more bran. You're looking for a ball that holds its shape until you touch it and then it falls to pieces. When the bran reaches the right moisture content, you're going to pack it into a dustbin liner and create an airtight environment. Tip it down to the bottom and tightly squeeze out the air. Twist it round, making sure there's as little air as possible left in the bag. Once it's tight, you're going to put it into an airtight container. Fix the lid securely and leave for two to three weeks in the summer or in the winter, four to six weeks. After two weeks, check and have a look at how it's progressing. And here's one I made just over two weeks ago. We'll have a look and see how it's progressing. should have a pleasant fermented aroma. Sometimes a white bloom appears on it and that's absolutely fine. If it smells acrid and absolutely horrid, then it has gone wrong. It's only gone wrong if you've made the mixture too wet or you haven't made the container airtight. And the only thing you can do is throw it away and start again. The next stage is to spread the bran out thinly to dry. When dry, store in an airtight container and properly dried and stored, it will last up to two years. Bokashi compost helps improve soil fertility and grow plants and vegetables full of vitality.
But Kashi will increase the microorganisms in your soil and this will help grow healthy plants. And if your veg grow well, so do you.